Today we're playing Bubble Bobble for friends on the Nintendo Switch. Roll that intro. Bubble Bobble for friends. Released on the Nintendo Switch, coming out on the PS4 soon. It is four players, local multiplayer. It's a platformer that was released on November 19th, 2019. It doesn't feature any online play. ESRB rating is E for everyone. Let's quickly go through the menu and see what kind of options are available. Let's go to settings. You can change your audio settings, the display. Let's go into memory album. That's as you progress, more will be unlocked for you. How to play is the actual button config. It's very easy to use. But if you're pretty new to the series, this is a good place to start. We usually like to skip through it and let's just jump into the game. We'll figure it out as we go. And the credits for the wonderful people that brought us this game. All right. Now there's two different games that are available. There's the classic and the main game. We're gonna go into the main game first. The classic is included. We will go through that and show you towards the end of this video. So let's go, let's load up three players. It's a four player game. So you can play one, two, three, or four. It's obviously more fun when you have more players. All right, let's load it up and let's have some fun. So this is a quick, uh, easy welcome level that you can play. Just so you're familiar with the controls. You don't have to go through any puzzles or anything like that. Just the simple mechanics of jumping and creating bubbles. So the enemies are just sitting dormant. There we go. Send those off. Boom. After the last one's done, you get your rewards. Pick those up as well. And that's it. You move on to the level. Alright, we made it to the second stage. Same concept, jump around, solve little puzzles and mysteries, and defeat the enemies, pick up your rewards, that's it. One of the cool features is you can actually jump and hop on the actual bubbles themselves, so that's a cool way to uh, reach higher platforms and grounds so that you can get the enemies. Just be careful, if you get hit by the enemy, you will be stuck in a bubble unless one of your friends saves you, otherwise you lose a life. Keep in mind the life meter is combined, so the number of lives at the very top of the screen, it's for all of you together. So you definitely have to work together, you have to help each other, otherwise you will all get eliminated together as a group. So the main objective here is to team up with your friends to defeat the wicked magician Bonner and his henchmen. Jump, create bubbles, trap enemies, collect bonuses, and move on. In terms of reviews and reception, this game received mixed reception. Some loved it a lot as it was very similar to the classic. Others did not enjoy it as much, so you have varying degrees of ratings. You'll have ratings that are really low in the 40s and 50% out of 100, all the way up to people that enjoyed it so much that gave it an 80 and a 90. So complete mixed bag. I would say try it out for yourself. Check out our gameplay. You may enjoy it or it might not be your cup of tea. Some of the things that we enjoyed about it is fun little puzzles, you easily work together, and we had a lot of fun. The levels, now unfortunately the, the shortcomings are that the levels are pretty short. The game does have a high price tag for a very simplistic type of game as you can see on screen. This is a couple of puzzles and things you have to figure out, like here you have to crouch you gotta be careful that the enemy doesn't attack you, so you gotta work together and figure out strategies to get this completed. So Bubble Bubble is a platform game created by Taito. It was first released in the arcades in 1986. There are a lot of sequels that were released for this game. Anywhere from the TurboGrafx-16, the NES, Xbox Live, many many other platforms and consoles. Now the late Fukio Mitsuji, hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly, he's the creator of Bubble Bubble, also created Rainbow Island, Sivalion, and Full Field.
Now his game was one of the first games that actually focused on cooperative play, which is awesome. And the, here we are. Now we're in playing a four player game. Originally the first one was only two players. I created cute little characters in an effort to attract more females to come in and play video games. Many longtime players of the classic probably figure this out that if you play the game in single player, it doesn't actually reveal the final ending of the game. It asks you to go back and play in co op. This game was also developed by the same developer and this time published by In In Games. As we mentioned earlier, it's available only on the Switch currently, but there is a PS4 version that's going to come out soon with additional levels and other features that they haven't announced yet. If you remember correctly, in the main menu there was an arcade machine to the left. That's actually the original arcade version of the game that you can go back and play. There is a special edition of this game that's available. It includes keychains, posters, special box that's a little bit different than the standard box, and four cards of the four main characters. The original stars of the game were Bubble Dragons Bub and Bob, and their goal was to save their friends. There was another version of uh, Bubble Bubble that was released back in 1994 that supported four players called Bubble Symphony. Obviously the stars of that game were Bub and Bob, so Bublin and Boblin, but there was also Kululuin and Kororon. Two female characters that could be chosen as well. Now the official announcement of this game included those same characters for this one as well, but that changed when the game was actually released. So the stars of this game are still obviously Bub and Bob, you can't get rid of those, those are the main characters, along with Peb and Pab. So the classic version of the game that's included in that arcade machine includes 100 levels. This main game that we're actually playing right now has 5 worlds with 5 different bosses. So as you saw as we're playing, unlike the original, you don't actually lose your life by being hit by the enemy. You actually go into a little bubble and gives your teammates a chance to save you. So as you saw at the top right, that player did not get saved. So now you lose life. So our little cute little mini dinosaur heroes enchanted by the evil beluga whale Baron of Blubba. Interesting fact is that back in 1996 they actually lost the source code for the arcade version. So all of the ports had to be reverse engineered from the arcade ROM and earlier PC and console conversions. So now on the screen you're actually going to see us loading up the arcade version. So we're going to play the classic, we're going to have some fun with that one. Now 
Parasol Stars almost had a Commodore 64 port, but the developer's wife destroyed the actual source code of the game. And all the backups were lost as well. What he went on to do was he actually said that his computer was stolen, but that was just a cover up so that his personal life and information would not get leaked out into the world. But now we know. So one of the things that you'll notice when you play the first level is that it features a remix of the classic theme, but the rest of the world contains all brand new music within the game. So as we mentioned earlier, it doesn't feature any online options and there's no competitive modes, strictly just local multiplayer co-op mode. It's great. We love it, we had a lot of fun, but just something that we'd like to mention just so you know, don't expect anything online. Now this version, the classic arcade version that you're playing right now from back in the day, is only two players, so it's not four players. So what do we think of this game? We found it very fun, that we're going to keep loading up from time to time, especially for quick co-op modes. So we loved it, we enjoyed it. We had a great time with this game and we're definitely going to keep opening it up for every once in a while, putting it in our Switch and going to have fun. So in terms of rating, was it awesome, great, good or limited in features? We thought it was good. We had a fun time, good game, we enjoyed it a lot. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, hope you guys enjoyed the review and our gameplay. See you guys in the next one.